Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session and indeed a quiet night here on Tavern Master. In the previous episode, we were once again expanding the tavern, getting some more decorations and overall serving our customers. Oh, and also we did some drunken adventuring, which was, well, probably not the ideal thing and recommended course to take, but either way, it happened. Let's start the next day and we will see what we can do in this episode. I want, at minimum, to get a lot of research done and increase the size of our kitchen. I think that is a decent idea. We are currently on minus 455 generic units of currency. Prestige is at 2165. We are going to run a cheese and wine tasting, I think, uh, tomorrow. Yes, that's uh, there. So wine for uh, seven, that's what it's going to be. Requirements are 1,000 prestige. We've got over 2,000. 10 cheese, we have 70. In fact, we may have more if I check here. Protect the wagon, yes. That's done. Protect the villages. Yes, we've got green beans. And sadly, the forest didn't work out. So, yeah, there's our adventurers who sadly were not able to uh, get some strawberries. <laughs> I think we may also want another chef eventually once we've, get, well, once we've got some more research. But also maybe another waitress or two. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. If we check out our achievements here, hang on, uh, achievements there, we need to buy any ingredient a a uh, hundred times, I'm going to say a thousand, but no. Uh, own more decorations, which we'll be able to do shortly. Reach two stars with any food and serve 156 customers. We've served 207. Oh, I can't even I can't even do numbers today. <laughs> We've served 27 out of 156. Uh, that will afford us some money and then a new recipe, which is... Well, it's strawberries on something. Is that just strawberries and cream? That's probably what it is. But we shall see. In terms of our chef, they have leveled up. So that is Henry. We'll give them a level up. And... I think increase the price for desserts. Yeah. We're currently researching, I believe it was drink price. Uh, yeah, drink price is there. I want to then go for extra guests per day. Followed by the chopping table. And then the props for soups. So that means... Chopping table, I think that will give us some extra main courses, and the soup thing will give us... What will that give us? Oh wait, it's soup. Uh, once we've also got the the prices uh, for for the beverages, we can we can increase or decrease the the amount uh, that we have there. I don't think we're going to decrease it. I think we'll probably knock it up. Um, let's go for fishing. We're going to go fishing and we'll send... No, we're not going to send those adventures. It would not work out. Let's send them out for some more of these green beans, followed by some cheese. And there we go. There's our adventurers. I do want to get that achievement for the decorations. We need to have three more decorations. So let's see. Our research is done. Let's go for an extra 14 guests per day. We only need to serve 100 normal... Or is it just common they yeah, are common customers we receive 224 per day although if we pause it and go over to the bar we can change the prices and increase or decrease it so if we increase it by one not increase it by one yeah you see the guests go down but the price goes up so i think that'll be fine we'll also refill it as well i also probably want to go for and buy some more food ingredients because one of our things is to buy a hundred of any one ingredient um, anyway, over to our decorations here, and we've got plants and weapon racks, and oh, I actually quite like the bookshelves. Uh, the 500 apiece, though. Uh, there's this floor-standing bookshelf, and there's this uh, standard bookshelf here. I think I want to place a couple of bookshelves, or maybe even some shields, maybe around like the adventurer's table. This may eventually become... I might I'll move that at some point, but yeah, we'll see. It's actually not in a bad position where it is. It's out the way and, uh, you know, away from the, the band. So if they're trying to uh, plan and plot and, you know, work out what they're going to do and, you know, get a nice tactical organisation going, they don't want some guy banging a <laughs> drum like four feet from the head. Or maybe they do. Maybe that uh, spurs them on. I'm looking at the tables. The tables are A, quite good, B, also full of empties, so we do need to alter that. And the way I'm going to do it is by ignoring it today and tomorrow I'll get another, probably another waitress. The reason I'm ignoring it now is because I want to get some more decorations so we get that achievement done. So I'm going to go for two bookshelves. Uh, one will go in there, the other one will go in there. And then we have a third one as well that we can place, which is... Oh, it's 75, so I'll wait a little bit, and then we'll hopefully get... Yeah, we'll go straight away. We uh, got that done. So another bookshelf, and I'm going to place it... 
Where can I place the other bookshelf? Maybe, maybe back here? I'll place it there because it's near this scroll thing anyway. And then we'll pick that up. So this means it refreshes every day. So doing it now means that, you know, it will refresh uh, when the next day comes around. Sadly, that also means that we're going to be in negative money because I've just spent almost all the money that we had. Uh, so, yeah, we won't be able to sort the adventurers out as soon as they turn up. So, profit is 124, so it's not ideal, but there it is. We have some more adventurers arriving. We don't have to look at this because, as you can see, we've still got extra days remaining. Um, all the guests for this event have been served. You'll receive 300... Uh, for that, that's good. Also, uh, reach some more guests. That's what we need to do. That's going to be uh, reach 224 guests per day. Well, we're on 219. I guess we just decrease the price. We'll get that one done. We shall see. Uh, the thing is, today, though, we are serving uncommon guests, I think they are, because this is the cheese and wine tasting event. I think it's just a wine tasting event, but it's getting served with cheese, so you know, we have to celebrate that as well. So you can see lots of goblets here, full of wine, actually empty of wine. So let's go ahead and get another another waitress, I think. So over to our staffing, and we'll also level up Fergus again. And we're going to go for Carrie's extra drinks, up to six drinks. And we're going to hire another person here so nancy mood is not affected by cleaning judy gains experience two times faster matilda mood decreases 20 percent slower every day bren uh, brenner i was gonna say brenda but it's brenner eight drinks at the same time i think we're gonna go for probably matilda there we go and that's fine i also think eventually we will have to get another chef uh, also, I want to buy some more food, which has also then allowed me to pick up that next one, which we're on, ah, we're on 69 of 70. That is a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. Hmm. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned previously. So, what are the main priorities? What are the main priorities? Well, research mainly, I would say. And also, an offer... Ooh, I guess the main priority is to make sure we get the bar stocked. Because this event, as you may imagine, has made us pretty much sell out of wine straight away. <laughs> I'll just pause it for a moment so we can zip over here and check out our, check out our bartender here. You can see Fergus carrying six goblets by the look of it of wine <laughs> that's why the wine's going down quite fast because this is the wine event and those guys over there sitting around just checking out the new bookcases let's have a look at that any anything that we recognize uh medicine we've got what's that one Demonologer, I think. It's hard to see. Under here. Dragons and Monsters. Can't see what edition it is, but that's what it is. <laughs> Hang on, is that is that supposed to be a book about dragons and monsters or that's supposed to be a D&D &D thing? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, we have... This is a slightly different menu, by the way. It looks different from when you previously saw it because there's been uh, updates there. We have... Cheese to level up, which we've done. Dessert-wise, we've got apple pie, cream roll, fruit bowl, cherry cake. Main courses, bread. I think bread was originally... Was it a dessert? I don't know. There's no starters. Anyway, bread, roasted fish, bowl of chicken, and cheese. Let's start the next day. Hmm, good profits. 1,253. Start the next day. So, green beans uh, was good, and the cheese was good. We're going to go for some mushrooms, 95%, strawberries, 72%, cheese, 85%. So spreading ourselves may be a little thin there, but it is what it is. Serve 156 customers, done, that gives us extra cash, and serve only main courses for the whole day. Interesting. Okay. I think we could probably do that. Actually, I'm going to see if I can glitch out this thing. Change price, decrease it, go back... 
achievement completed, select it, go back to the bar, and then increase the price again. <laughs> Job done. Um, new recipe looks to be strawberries and cream. So it would be nice to get that because I believe one of the events that we can run, which are in a couple of days, uh, a work anniversary requires strawberries and the strawberries and cream recipe. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Research is now completed, which is extra guests. I'm going to go for the chopping table, followed by the props for soup. And once we've got the chopping table, I think I will probably go ahead and get another chef. Um, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think there's any point in getting them now because you can see they are standing around quite a bit. Obviously, they are going about and doing their thing, so they are dispensing all of the food from the chest, which includes... It's not limited to steaks, broccoli, apples, fish, and coconuts, all in the same box. Now, I have no idea how it's stored in there. Uh, maybe that's a cool box. Maybe it's got different sections. No, no, it's literally, a, it's literally a wooden chest full of all that food. So, hopefully it's cooked well, and the food hygiene person does not come and check out what we've done, because they will probably shut this place down <laughs> faster than the drawbridge would go up if it had one and B, if a dragon would actually attack in the game, but they are. So, we could get some more decorations. We don't need to. The research uh, two stars, or reach two stars, should I say, with any food is just something we have to wait and see about. I am, now that it's 11pm, going to pause the game, go over to our menu, and I'm going to say none for desserts. We only want to serve main courses. That is this main courses here. That will give us four of the quest points. Sadly, they won't give us this one, but we don't know what the other two will be. Hopefully, we'll be able to complete those, and then that will then unlock the other event there. So, over to our building, to kitchen, scrolling down to the chopping board. I'm going to place the chopping board there, and then I'm also going to get, I think, another member of staff. So, chefs here. We've got Adam, prepare two soups at the same time. Edwi receives two bonus every main course. Jack, seven more customers, and Randall, two bonus for every soup. I'm going to say... Uh, see, think about the two soups. Two soups are extra money for soup. I definitely want to be the, one of the soup people, because... It's not a species, by the way, the soup people. Um, but I definitely want to go for the soups, because that's what we're researching, and that's a whole new thing. I don't know about two. I think we're going to go for Randall, extra money... Uh, with soup. So obviously at the moment we're not serving anything soup wise. We're only serving bread, roasted fish, bowl of chicken it was cheese but we've also now got fish steak and steak so there we go and I believe we can buy those. Yes we can buy all of that so it's not a problem so I've turned off the um, refill on that one. That's fine. I've turned off the food uh, main course one which is fine so we're only going to serve we're only going to serve the main courses, so that's this one. Refill two... Ah, oh, typical. So refill 250 litres of any drink. I've literally just filled that up yesterday, so that's annoying. The event, I'm going to have to go for... I mean, what can we run, really? We can't run any of these. I guess it's going to have to be wine tasting again, because we're not going to get that one. We probably would have been able to get that. Although it wouldn't have mattered anyway, would it? Because even if we, even if we had got the main course is done at the end of the day, and then to refill the drink, that's enough to get us over the edge here. But that would only take effect tomorrow, which we would have have to select the event before that. Okay, it's not a big problem then. Anyway, we've got some level ups. We've got Ada who is leveled up. We will increase their speed and go for speed when carrying. There we go. We also have a little scroll around. Nope, everything's all fine there. Everybody is happy apart from Henry, so we'll give them a little bit of a pay increase. One little nudge there and they seem to be quite happy with that. So that's fine. We do have some more adventurers. I'm going to start adventuring for fish, otherwise known as fishing, uh, and we'll send them all off there. <laughs> so we have a lot of adventurers here. It's based on our prestige, I believe, the type of ones we get. So we are getting the yeah, available adventurers. There's none there anymore, but we've just sent them off. So in terms of expansion, we probably should start thinking about that because we've got, well, quite frankly, a ridiculous amount of money. So let's go ahead and do just that. Now, I want to extend 
the kitchen so we're gonna go for kitchen extension this is gonna be all kitchen this thing here and I will remove that wall although I may end up changing some of it later on this is the plan for the size of kitchen for now this is gonna be a staircase although we'll have to probably remove that there eventually but this is gonna be a staircase so I'm gonna just block that in first for now and then this is gonna be an outside bit now how do I want to do this because and I want this to be, like I say, an outside area where we've got, like, you know, places for people to stand around and, uh, well, actually sit around out here and, and eat. I guess I'll place a door there. That should be fine. And I would like to maybe have... I mean, do I want to try that? Does that look nice? Oh, that looks okay. It means we can build up here, can't we? If we do that one. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that one. Because the other one, this one, don't think would be over I don't think it would work we could also put in some half heights here if we wanted to let me just see what that looks like put in some half height walls so all of those would be half height um, no I'm not convinced that's the way forward so we're gonna remove that put that one back in let's go ahead and remove that bit for now because that's like say sort of earmarked for other things we haven't altered the texture for the walls and I don't think I really want to at this stage floor we will put in there we go that's nice and expanded and then outside hmm so obviously we've got the stone out here and this one's just grass I actually think I want to leave it as just the grass I think that'll be okay so over to building then and maybe some oh maybe place like the really long tables in here would that work that would look very nice wouldn't it so long table Place a long table there, and then oh, you've also got Lux table. No, I think the long tables are sufficient. Mm, probably want a couple more. Two, three for now. We may end up altering the seating plan, but I'll see. And then we got deluxe bench, which is fine. Or do we want a comfy chair? I see the comfy chairs take up two spots, so you can have one, two, three, four, five, six. But this seat's eight. But these will go for two, four. Oh, can you have them at the end? You can have people at the end. Oh, okay. Right, well, that changes things then. That changes things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell that. I'm going to rotate these and then move them. Like this. So we'll like have a sort of head of the table. Okay, yes. So the seating arrangements then are... This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, are you going to use chairs? I don't think VIP chairs are the way to go simply because I don't have no, I don't have anywhere near the amount of money for that. But I think we are going to go for, do you want to go for wooden chairs or comfy? The comfy ones seem to be the way forward. One, two, three, no, just the two. Okay, job done. We'll end the turn. These can't be sat on, there's no illumination at this stage. So, I'll wait until I've got a bit more money. And then we will illuminate that. Uh, actually, we should have enough now. Over to our lighting and for the candle. Oh, we've got lamps, though. Oh, the lamps look a lot better. It's all, I guess, a matter of perspective. But I do like the look of those lamps. One there. One there. Then one here. No, don't have the lamps. Wait for a little bit more. But obviously, this is increasing our prestige. In fact, prestige is shot up. To almost 3,000. Maria has leveled up. We'll give them that level. We'll also increase the amount of drinks that they can carry. To 57. It, it's not. It's like to 5 or 6. Uh, questages. Finish any research. That is completerated. Also, we want to go for uh, milk, cider and mead. The reason for that is because we need to serve 25 rare customers. We're getting 30 tomorrow. So it all works out. There's serve only main courses for the whole day. We're going to pick that up. So, the, oh, that has actually tipped tonight. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, building once again, over to lighting, down to the lamp. Lamp will go in here. Also, decorations I want to put. Oh, the fireplace there would be cool, wouldn't it? Actually, be quite hot, to be fair. Uh, is there any other decorations we could put up? I think I'm just going to use these and have them like that. And that has just tipped us over the 3,000 prestige. 
Excellent. Right, so we need to get in. I actually think this is far too large, by the way. This uh, this thing here, what I might do is split it down there and then put in the stairs going this way. We'll see. It's all uh, in a state of flux, as is life. Time marches forward. Uh, we've got a base and a spice shelf and a cauldron. However, I don't have the cash available. We have spent 2017. Actually, we've spent more than that. And oh, we have someone who was coming to steal. They had their sneakers on, but Talbot managed to successfully uh, swing near them and they didn't uh, manage to get anything, so that's pretty good. I will go ahead and check out here. So refill drinks, level two for any food, buy a basin for the kitchen, perfect. We're going to do that and buy a spice shell. Really glad I actually didn't have the money because if we did have the money yesterday, I wouldn't be able to do these two quests because we're going to get another 10 here, so that's perfect. That'll give us more money. And we've got a new recipe there as well. But what was I going to do? Um, it was... Oh, yes. There's 300 for the serving of this these customers because obviously we are doing the cheese and wine tasting event thing. And I've totally forgot what I was going to do. It was to do with food. Ah, oh, that's right. It was to put back on all of the desserts. So all of the desserts are back on. Now, actually, it's probably not the best thing to do. Because if we've... Now that we've done that, what that means is we can't then... We're not going to level up. It's, we're going to level up a, a larger... A larger amount of our foods. Which overall is pretty good. But it won't then rush towards this other star so it is what it is so mushrooms we've got strawberries we've got and cheese we have got brilliant let's go for some protecting of the villages to get some apparently some green beans and then we're gonna get more cheese there we go cheese obviously the easiest one to get because it's not known for its ability to run away we're gonna go over to our seating scroll down to the comfy chair one rotate it around and place it only once not twice not thrice just the once because quite frankly i can't afford it I'm tempted to change the flooring because although the the idea of having this nice outside bit sounded good, it also looks garbage. So let's just refill the bar because we need to. That will then give us a, another one of these quests done. I tend to call them achievements as well. It's Yeah, the, the terms in the change, but we know what we're talking about. We don't need to be overly picky, although I guess I probably would be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to get in the like spice rack and such first however I'm tempted to alter the layout of the kitchen what would be the best course of action they get the order they go there they go there they go there maybe then put the soup stuff down this side so I don't think we need to alter it then so over to our kitchen we've got a basin which is not just for washing up that can go in there that will give us Another one of these quests completed. I don't want a spice rack and I want the soup thing. The soup would probably go there. See, we'll have to we'll have to see how they use it, because if they're going back and forward and such, uh, let's get Fergus leveled up here and level them up with probably speed while not carrying. Because you know they have to go so far. What do we get? By spice shelf. Okay, easy enough done. Spice shelf. Four uh, four hundred. Oh, it's a it's it's a big shelf. I guess there is fine. And then there's more money, which then allows me to buy the last thing, a cauldron, which I'm actually gonna place in the middle there. No. Building, move to there. Seems to be a better fit. So there we are. We have a cauldron. We have a basin. We have a spice shelf. Good. Happy with that. Flooring then. Gonna go with wood. That looks fine. That looks fine. Let's see. Let's see how this goes then. We got three, five waitresses in total. Two chefs, one bartender. Research is milk, cider and mead. Halfway there. We can get extra bar. And then unlimited chefs, a new floor, and extra guests. Start next day. Let's see. New quests. Refill 250 litres of any drink. Serve only soups for the whole day. Two main costs. Or serve only main costs for the whole day. Reach extra food. Okay. I'm going to go for... What was it? Only serve soups. 
and make sure we turn the achievement one off as well. So only serving soups today, and that will also allow us to see how they get on. Speaking of getting on, the fishing was successful. Okay, so we've got this guy. You can see they're now filling up the cauldron. Oh, putting like a leak in there. By the look of it. And they're making soup, although that's very green and bubbly. Picking up spices and then taking it over there. Okay, I think I need to rearrange that then. I think we'll need to rearrange that. There's one of those. Oh, okay. Right. So I've got the workflow completely wrong. So, it goes... You get the water. You fill up the soup pot. Get the ingredients, fill that up, get the spice, fill that up. So actually, this is almost the <laughs> almost as inefficient as I could possibly make it. Hmm. Right, well, we'll have to wait until tomorrow to alter this. Or do we? Do we? Can I alter it now? I can alter it now. So, they need to... Tell you what, then. That next to that, that seems to work out. And... Maybe if I rotate this, like that. Would that work? So they go here, water in there. Ah, oh, it's been used, darn it. Okay, I'll pause it. So, water, fill. Ingredients, fill, that fill. If I place that there, it's... It's about the same efficiency, I would assume. Can I get another soup bowl? No, one of one. So it ain't happening. Alright, fine. As long as we know, we know. So I'm glad we've expanded here, it's pretty good. Not a bad view as well. And also protected with nice little railings. I was going to go for like an outside bit, but that seems to be, seems to be fine. And there's our soup. What's it look like? Oh, nice. I do like a nice soup or a broth. Pea and ham. That's a nice one. Three bean specialty soup. One of my favourites. Currently. So, yeah. Water. There. Food. Yep. I think that's about right. It'll, it'll do the job. Obviously, at the moment, the workflow is completely all over the place. You don't really know what's what's going on because they're not serving the main courses here because we're doing the serve soup thing. Looks like Madeline's leveled up. I'm going to say extra drink carrying for you. Nobody else has leveled up, but everybody is very happy. Good. So, just more customers. So, it means seatings, comfy chair, head of the table. Can't afford any more. Should have also probably spent some money on getting the adventurers going. So. Fish. I don't know why. Fish! Today's fish is trout a la creme. Enjoy your meal. Um, yeah, I think we'll get that fishing done. It's 400 though to send them all. 420. It's going to cost. Yeah, I think this kitchen is a bit too big. We could probably have a like a back room or something if need be. Private meeting area. Oh, maybe move the adventuring table in there. Yeah, maybe. Have like a door there. Put a wall there. Have it this size, and then the and the stairwell can go that way. You know what? I'm not gonna focus on it too much because I. Hmm. I'm going with unlimited chefs. A new floor you need from Royal. Actually, stop that. Extra guests per day. Yeah. It all depends on the floor layout and where the, where the upstairs goes. So, we'll have to see. The next event. We can go for work anniversary. We're going to select it. We're going to select it now. And I think that'll be a good place to leave it. It's been a bit of Tavern Master. We have successfully expanded the tavern, almost doubled prestige, 
and increased our what we can serve. So overall, pretty happy with that. Job done. There's serve soups only. That's good. That's good. Uh, can we cancel that other event? We cannot cancel the event. <laughs> That's the uh, work anniversary because I think we're very close to this one. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens. But yes, not bad at all. Menu. Turn off the soups. None. But turn on the main courses because one of the achievements there... No, that one is serve only main courses. So we've got that set up. Either way, 257 guests, eight, <laughs> eight general currency. Prestige, though, 3,450. Job is not done, but it is getting there. Overall, pretty happy with the progress. And I think we will leave it there. We will actually start the next day. But yes, we will leave it there for now. That has been a bit of the game. And next episode, we will look at potentially finishing this area and... Maybe getting, hopefully, the right amount of research for getting a set of stairs. But we'll have to see. We will have to see. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.